The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. This is the Friday, the 8th of March edition. We're looking at the Dow up 153 at 38,944. So during the update that I did at 10 o'clock, I say there's a particular technique, a particular pattern that I look at where there's much there are lower highs and much lower lows. It looks like this. I call it the falling axe because it looks like an axe. There's the handle, there's the blade, the expanding wedge formation. And what happens is all of a sudden it finds a base and it takes out that declining upper trend line. And then you can have a one to one in the same angle going to the previous high. Well, we haven't taken it out yet, but it says that if the Dow closes, I, I'm going to say close, I don't want it just to pop and drop. Uh, in the 39, uh, around 39,050, either today or Monday, <clears throat> then you've got to look at the left side high of 39,968 on the 4th of March. Is that the 4th? No, the 1st of March. And then the next high, which is the all time high of 39,282 on the 23rd of February. Now, yes, we are long term. I'm going to show this in a moment. I'll get to it. We are long term, long, uh, no intention of changing that at all. But on the very short term, we've been short uh, via the one-to-one -one short. And that's the only one because the Dow <clears throat> went to a sell signal, not a sell mode. So I had to put a down arrow. But if it closes decisively yet again under the 14 pre moving average, that's going to give it a sell mode. That's an upgrade just in terminology. You just say, oh, my God, sell mode. Now it goes down to 35,000. No, it just says that's a designation. And it means it's a more serious um, in more serious denomination than it had before. But look at this. The S&P hasn't even given a sell signal yet. I'm going to talk about this in a moment in different charts. Um, it's got an alternate account, G stash C, so now it's gone to a D. <clears throat> right there. Right there. And I'm going to go back into this pattern here. There's, a, there's another technique that in the Chapman methodology is called the instant restart. We're at a peak D. If there is a th within three bars, if there's a higher high, it becomes an E. It could become an E slash A, an alternate count, and that's what you've got to be thinking. And that means that the previous high uh, was at uh, 5149.67. That was a G slash C. Oh no, that was the one right there at the inside track, repellent zone, then a pullback. Now it gets the D. G slash C. Very often, most of the time, these uh, for for about. Nine months now, we're looking at so many of the charts that go to GSAS C, then they go to a D. And that's where you've got to be a little bit careful. But mm -mm. look, the nine period moving average is way over the 14. The MACD is good. It's not great. It's just good. So it keeps up the same uh, directional uh, arrow that it had before, which means it's in an up a buy mode. The stochastic is flat at 80, uh, 80 what is it? 3%, which is good. And the on-balance volume is a little, not a little bit, it's quite overbought. The weekly chart, as I've been saying for some time, is really strong. The only technical indicator, because the stochastic is flat at 97%, flat and 95 to 97 is fabulous. That on-balance volume is saying, we're really getting really close, uh, but it's a weekly chart. Close doesn't mean it's this week. It could even be two or three weeks, but we're really close to some kind of a pullback that affects the on-balance volume, so it pulls back quite sharply. That doesn't mean the price has to pull back, but it says this is where you've got to be a little bit careful. Look at the QQQ, and I'm going to go through some of these charts in a different way. There's a leg E right now, all-time high, if I can just click on that. There it is. Okay, there's a new, um, so that is at 448.21. That's a new high, all-time high. Leg C in the weekly chart, that means on Friday, you have to almost get an immediate Sunday night to Monday sharp, for whatever reason, sharp de decline, so that that becomes the high for the week. Because otherwise, it's so close, whatever the high is today, if we open on Monday, anything but sharply lower, 
there's a real good chance that throughout the whole week you can extend this leg C. I'm just saying that's the way it works. And it's a leg B, very positive still in the monthly chart. IWM, something very different here because, um, as I said before, we don't have any sell signals at all in the other indices. It's only the Dow that's been heavily weighted. And I think you got Microsoft, you got Apple. They've, they've not been very uh, positive for you know quite some time now, about two, three weeks. And what we are looking at, well, Apple's even longer, is that this breakout in the daily chart above the 205.49 high of December the 27th is doing it with all the technical indicators very strong. On balance of volume isn't yet quite overbought. The stochastics at 80, let me just double check. I think oh, I did that and I forgot to change that. So I want the red one. Yeah, 80, click on it, 81. So 81% 81 is good. Look, this is a leg D. It's more extended in the Chapman methodology in terms of the terminology of the weekly chart. This is a D. We were looking at the Qs only in B. But a D means you could recycle. You could do a bunch of things. Just says that's letter D is where you a yellow light flashes. That's all. Do you stop? Do you hold? Do you, what, do you keep going? You just need to have a little bit of caution. But this is a very good breakout. And you can see this is with we were last year at this level. Back, on the, this is in 2022, March, the high was 212.23. And here we are, 210.41. I mean, that's, uh, what's it, 23, March? Yeah, it's almost, it's almost two years. So this breakout is really significant. So I wanted to go through that. Um, then I wanted to show you gold. Gold is now up uh, 13, holding very nicely above that trend line. This is like the stochastic is flat at 96%, 96 point, no, sorry, 94.01. And um, oh, it's actually 95. 95, the on balance farms overbought. MACD is very strong. This kind of powerful move to the upside says that the histogram takes a while. That's the distance between the, the green line, the, that's the nine period differential, and the pink line, a red line in this case. Uh, that's the 26 period exponential moving average um, takes a while for it to even pull back, let alone cross negative. So this is so far a very good indication that gold has made a significant low. And this is very important because it could st stall some some profit taking here for maybe a couple of days. But it's really important. The only way this would change. Well, first of all, 21, 24 is the nine period moving average. So that would be the first really big uh, support level, but the major support level is at 2100. So something drastic happens. That does have a look of a single leg A up, and those things fail uh, when they come back more than three quarters of the way from the high. That, that, let's go one step at a time. So far, this is very positive. Look at the SI, the SI silver, um, the leg B. <clears throat> the weekly chart is finally improving because above the 200 period moving average, monthly chart says, eh. Nothing to see here. Yeah, there's a big divergence between the two. Silver down uh, 06, 08 at 24.49. Um, while I'm here, I'm just going to go to high grade copper because high grade copper should be rallying. Well, it's actually pulling back in a leg D. Made a D today. Let's see what happens there. And let's go to the dollar. The dollar is, in fact, pulling back quite sharp. It's taking out previous support levels. It's far away from the country period moving out down 27.6. I want a 2.05. I'll be right back. Dow's down up 122. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Since this is Technical Friday, Chapman Wave Methodology, we'll be going to a little bit more detail on uh, the actual technique. And I wanted to show you something here. I, I'll go, the dollar's down. It's uh, it, it suggests that... Um, in a way, it's one of the parts of the puzzle that says that um, certain techniques that you need, you can follow, suggest that unless certain things happen to the general market, and you do, and you have to have at least two consecutive sessions of minus 58 to minus 62 in the futures, the S and P futures down down uh, in the pre market, maybe. 375 to 425 and it has to try to rally during the day and then fail and then come back again the next day it has to be sharply lower unless you get that kind of intensity to the sell to the to the to the the influx of new sellers um the general trend of the market is usually up so i just want to get that out of the way and then i wanted to do this very quickly because it's so pertinent we've just made a g the chapman methodology in the one minute chart but it's only a C in the five-minute E-mini. This is the S&P E-mini March chart. We'll change it uh, soon to the next uh, uh, to the next uh, month, which will be June, right? Um, and, and a peak C in the uh, ten-minute chart. Now have a look at this. Yesterday, I showed this to the den, and um, I said there are certain techniques that I like to talk about that are kind of core to the work that I do. While at the same time, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that I, I do them myself because sometimes other things, just your thinking gets in the way, your, your, your temperament. But if you're very strict about these rules, there are a couple of things. Look, look how important the 200 period moving average, this uh, 200 period moving average in the 10 minute chart was. This blue line I drew in back around the 23rd or 24th of February, and I said there was a long, narrow 
rectangle formation overnight and into the next day. And then I drew, because of the technique that I have in my webinars, on my, if you go to, if you're a subscriber, you can use all, see all the webinars. I discussed the mid, mid line, the mid channel horizontal line in a long narrow rectangle if it's one of significance at most recent highs. And then I said, what I do is I just click it and I draw it in and it's continuous, it'll go on forever, right? <laughs> And it becomes very important until you get so far away from it, it's unimportant anymore. Well, right here, there's a technique that I use, the 914 crossover. And I said, in the 10-minute chart, look, at uh, 420, I wasn't up at that time, yesterday morning on the 7th, the 9 period moving average crossed positive. And it crossed positive 5111. If you use this particular technique, you could use other techniques, shaving wave techniques, but right here, when it made that peak E top at about 2 o'clock, at around about 51, um, right there, at 51.70, it then went sideways, but then it crossed negative at 51.57. This is one, this one technique. So you would have been in, based on this technique, from 5.111, could have gone off, done whatever it is, come back and said, yep, still holding the green nine period moving average. And then a moment it crossed, you could have used other techniques where you got out of peak D over there. But whatever it is, just using this one technique could have got out at 51.57. So that is a 46 point um, gain. Then what happened is it went sideways. Another one of those overnight sideways moves went a little bit higher. Now, what I didn't do, I was going to do it and I, I just didn't do it. Um, I went to a, just a fantastic concert last night. So when I got back, I did some work, but I didn't do this F following the um, nine period moving average. And then it crossed when it's a very long rectangle. There's just a really good chance it's going to, going to go peak D or E at some point. And then if it comes back and that mid point, the mid channel line, if it takes out the mid channel line, very often what it does is it goes right through it. Actually, I, I really should take it down to the low. Right there. Okay. So that's, that's the, look at that. So what we're looking at is it goes, can you see it nicely? Mm, green. Uh, just for the moment, I'm going to make it pink so that you can see it a little bit better. There are. Huh? I'm looking at Tiger TV. And what happens is with this rule is that if it takes out the midpoint, the mid-channel line, remember this was one from way back, um, this very often it goes underneath the rectangle low, and then it's so quick that it, it, it tries to go back. And if it goes back and doesn't break above that mid-channel line, just for the moment I'm going to put it in right here. I didn't use this myself until later in the, in the earlier this morning. If it takes out this line on the upside, that's very positive. But if it can't break above it and falls, makes an arch formation and comes down, <laughs> it's probably going to retest and take out that low. Well, look what happened. The 200 period moving average became a propellant zone this morning on the um, economic news. And then it popped up and now it's gone green and it went green at 8.50 this morning at 51. Uh, 70, and now it's rallying. So now we expect in the Chapman Wave methodology that there should be a peak C and then a D. Does it have to happen? Most, almost all the time it does, but there are times, especially when you get an economic report, that that might be a precedent for it to fail. But it's held so well. So you've got your G, you pull, there's your rectangle, you've gone under it. If it rallies and closes over 51, 90 and holds that for about three or four bars. That's positive. It'll say it'll test the high. If it fails and comes down and takes out this low, it's going to be negative. But in the five minute chart, it's a peak day. And if someone said, well, what's all that stuff? This is Chapman Wave automated support and resistance lines um, right here. That's, that's giving you the 5184 is the last one. If it takes it out, it's going to go quite a bit low. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you that this is some of the technique that I like to use. And now I want to apply it here, so I'm going to go to this right here. This time I'm going to use, sometimes I'll just use this particular chart right here with the 914. 
But in this case, I don't want to do that. I want to do something else so you can use, see some of the other technical indicators I use. And this is where it's always a little embarrassed, not a little bit embarrassed, it's very embarrassing. Why? Because look, the SMHs, this is a this is a weekly, I want to go to the uh, daily chart, but this is a daily chart. This is the Dow, and the reason why uh, from 2022, from October, we've been long from that exact low. We've been we long from 2020, the diamonds, and we've taken some profits, we've got a core position, take some profits here, got a core position, actually held, hold the UDOW as well. But look at this. It's being green. If you just follow this one, you can just follow this indicator. Look, you could have been on a nice cruise for uh, two, three months. You come back and you say, wow, it's still green. It's getting closer and closer to turning pink, but it hasn't yet. So even now, a short, shorter term, short on the Dow, even though the Dow has been weak compared to the other indices, it still hasn't turned. This is a daily chart. It hasn't turned negative. The MACD, so this is what I wanted to show you, because there are a lot of you, uh, if um, if this is replayed during Larry's hour, and Larry's away at uh, the, uh, a memorial, I think, or a funeral, for one of his dear friends, I'll first go with you, Larry. With Larry. But um, if you are looking at this, we've, a lot of people use the MACD, the moving average conclusion diverges. What do you do when there's a big divergence in the divergence of text? And the ones going up, the ones going down, I'll talk about that when we return. Dow's up soon. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. 
Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Well, I've got to thank, you know, thank Direction Shares for sponsoring this coming uh, segment. We're looking at uh, the copper up, uh, down 0.03, 3.8. It's acting well. So I was asked a question about TGB. TGB is to sake of minds. Every once in a while, for subscribers to get in for a trade. It didn't this time because it was just hanging around here. So remember, this is the starting point right, right here. This is the starting point of the move up. And that's at 1.27, I believe. Let me if I can just get this mouse to work nicely. There we go. So that is on the 1.27 on the 22nd of January. Breaks the resistance level, goes to a peak, B pulls back sharply. Now remember, this is your starting points. In the Chapman Wave, your only obligation is to count each successively higher peak and lower trough. So this is your starting point. So every single peak gets that's counted. So that's B. Then it goes underneath it. It's a gray A. But underneath it, there's another lower peak. That's an A. I didn't have time to make it gray. That's an A. Therefore, this B right here at uh, 158. And remember, the previous peak A was one, 157. So this becomes an overlapping peak B. When you get an overlapping peak B, it's like a Chapman wave restart. Not an instant restart. This is called a restart. I Meaning you've come off the low and you've gone to a sideways thing. And you've had a lot of peaks underneath the, the, the initial one. And when it takes off, if it's an overlapping wave, it should go to a C and even a D. Objective in the Chapman wave is to get you from a buy signal to a buy mode going to a D. So this is now in leg C. So it's very positive. It's a leg D in the um, monthly chart making the high that was made back in the week of the 21st of April. It's the Seiko Mines, TGB, up um, 0.07, up 4.2%. Remember, some low numbers give you good percentages. Um, so the target would be 1.79. <laughs> we are at 1.75 already today. Um, so it should be an easy, easy punch to that upside. But look at the long-term inside track repellent zone. So this, re this, these two lines are really important. Why? Because it hasn't broken above. It hasn't broken above at all since the top of 2.67 back in May of 2021. Then the next top of a lower top of uh, April of 29, uh, April of 22 at 2.41 and that trend line comes in right there so if on a monthly basis you could see a move i'm going to say into the twos 1.85 1.90 but really into the into close to two on a monthly basis that's going to be really positive and it'll be positive for copper now this is very important so yes i like it i think it'll be pulling back maybe a little bit but the objective is with a nine period strong the macd strong stochastic at 85 uh, percent this should be, again, the unbalanced volume is a little overbought, so you can expect some kind of a pullback. The monthly chart, the weekly chart is still strong. Monthly chart has a lot of work to do, but that's that looks good. So the key support is between 159 and 150 at this particular point. Okay, I hope that helps you. Next question, I'll do that right now, Costco. Costco uh, had a fantastic uh, move from, uh, it went to 787.08 yesterday. Is that correct? Did I update it? 787.08. So what's fascinating to me is that I haven't seen any round numbers in Costco. So many of the stocks have had round numbers, especially in the tech sector. But I did see an open of 755. I think I put it in. Oh, I forgot to put it in. 755 on the 4th of March. It ran up to 787 and is trading now at 739. And this is what I'm anticipating is going to happen in the semiconductors over a period of, I, I said, not in, a, in an immediate thing. Seven, I can't remember what I said. Seven, I think I said seven, 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 five. Maybe, I don't know, I'll have to change it. That was the open. Um, so within that context, oh no, I think it was lower than that. I'll change it just now. 
But within this context, what we're looking at is it's actually a leg F slash C. I had an alternate count only because I had to continue the, the wave count alphabetically, A, B, C, D, F, G, and then you can never get an H, so that's what you have to do. Uh, you have to go back. But this is a Chapman Wave incident restart. There's a chance now that Costco, making an all-time high, pulling back pretty sharply. I mean, 7.87 to 7.40, that's a 30. That's a 5, 5, 6, uh, just on the day, it's uh, a six, almost a 6% pullback. And it's given back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Almost, yeah, nine sessions of, of upside in one move. Now, I don't expect that's going to happen. With I don't even know why it would happen in the um, in the semiconductors because everything, I mean, all the, yeah, who knows? It'll have to be competition. It'll have to be a geopolitical thing, whatever it is. So Costco's acting well. And the question is, um, I'll just do it. The question I always ask is, do I buy, do I sell, do I hold, what do I do? Um, I'm looking at it fresh. So this peak right here says that all the technicals are still very positive. The month, the weekly chart is fabulous, and the monthly chart is outstanding. <clears throat> and it's in a leg C. Oh, I did the same thing here. You see, remember those little A's that I had um, in the TGB chart? There it is. Yeah, it's just starting point, and every peak needs to be uh, accounted for. And therefore, uh, once you, you get this restart, you get the, the overlapping wave of peak B, it invariably says you should go to a D. That's the objective. It's in a buy mode. Costco should go, should go to higher highs um, in 2024. Doesn't give you time. Other things give you time. So this pullback says there's a chance that Costco, for whatever reason, um, this this whole cluster formation with the Chapman Wave instant restart right there. Look how that one worked. I want to go back to that in a moment. One, two, three bars breaks the new high. I found so many times that even though you've had a huge different pattern on the on the right side if you go back and use that invariably the overlapping wave says it look g slash c is going to go to a d gosh that's exactly what i was talking about uh with advanced micro devices yesterday and yes amd um oh, it wasn't a AMD. what was the chart i was looking at during the break uh, yes right AMD, I said, is at a peak c and it should go to a d it wasn't an overlapping wave and today we've got the big spike to the upside um, in leg D, all-time high. Uh, I've got to check about all-time high because it has a pattern that goes to single digits, and then over a year or two, it screams into the, not just double, but the triple digits, um, high, higher double, but triple digits. So, all right, I'll get back. Let's go to Costco. And this is what I'm saying. A digestive phase, or whatever it is, a big pullback, and it's at the low of the day, which means that there's no rebound because... It was, oops, it, that's just a one-off error in the discussion from the CEO or whoever gives you the uh, after-hours uh, you know, comments. Um, no, this is serious. So I'm saying that be careful. Seven, no, break that's a break. 713 is a nine-feet moving average in the uh, weekly chart. So what I am saying, Costco is now digesting game. I don't think I don't think this is one where you have to grab it because it's going to go back to a new high right now. I think give it a little time. Give it. A, let's look at it maybe Wednesday or Thursday of next week, and then we can be able, be able to tell how does it rebound, or is it going to make lower highs and lower. Highs. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, folks, we're back and we're looking at the Dow up uh, 69, S&P is up 25. Now, what's really important, I remember now what it was. It was the NVIDIA back in late January, early February, we had a channel wave instant restart. And that is you go to a D and within three bars, it's actually, you have three bars, it makes a new, a higher high than the left side high. So that, to me, said that you, even though you went to a peak E, after that, pull back, and then an F, I called it F slash A, and then a G slash B, this is a G slash C right here. And what did it do? And I, I, I keep getting questions about this. I have questions myself. I, I, in the back of my mind, I think I know the answer. But you have to look at the evidence, and the evidence is the chart. And the chart said that the MACD is strong. The 9 is over the 14. Price is way over the 9, the daily chart. Stochastic is at 97%. Uh, now I keep meaning to get rid of the green line. I want the red line, which is a slower moving average. But it's at 96 or so percent. And the on-balance volume is overbought. So nothing here other than the on-balance volume is telling me that this is ready for a pullback. And that doesn't give you a timing thing. It just says getting really overbought. I've got this as an earnings uh, so earnings, it was favorable, and right there, it broke this cup formation and broke to the upside. I have this in leg F in the weekly chart. That can be changed because it's such a huge candle. It actually looks like an A, actually, or a B. But anyway, it's an F, and it's a leg C in the monthly chart. And you see these letters here. This is, I haven't changed it because I notate everything by hand. It isn't automated. This is the previous before NVIDIA was split. It's now way above that, way, way above that. In leg C in the monthly chart, that's still very positive. So um, in, uh, in the Tiger YouTube, uh, who was it? Someone said, uh, Zenbert said, NVIDIA just hit a round number 974 and backed off. Yeah. So this is a 974 round number. Now, I just want to show you something. And the question is, remember, I don't treat this as just an instant thing. It's something that you look back it's kind of a warning signal to say people were so desperate to to get in that they were just they, they just snapped in. I wanted it 350. I wanted it 220. I wanted at SMCI Super Microcomputers. Look, I 
look at this, this whole cluster of round numbers. And even today, what did it do? It had a, it's got a high so far of one, two, look at all these ones that just disappeared. It has a high today of 100 and 1,229.00, and it opened at 1,212.00. I don't even have room here. I believe that when we look back at some point, that is going to be such a barrier on the upside that it becomes very significant. I don't know if I'll keep all these. I'll try to, I have to, it's going to take me two minutes or something to click and get rid of every one of them. I can't believe from... Right there, it's actually a little lower, but let's go from 790. This is 800. That's 300, 320 points or so. We've had round numbers. So people have been so desperate to buy. And that just says to me that we are getting really close to some kind of a significant economic something is going to happen that will impact the semiconductor index. And I will only know that that's a fact when all of these stocks are trading well below these round numbers. But I've never seen this before. So many round numbers every day now. It's, or maybe that's, the, maybe that's the new pattern that you've got to look for it because you buy at the low and you sell at the high. So you just grab it or whatever it is and it'll be a round number. I don't know. I'm telling you it's going to be significant. Just exactly when, I can't say. But I... That's why I'm looking at it right now. I don't know what will do it when they're coming out with fantastic earnings. So I'm getting off that right now. I want to go back to this, and I want to show you something. Using this one technique, which I didn't do. I've done it for the Dow. I refuse to change my, our long-term outlook. This is very positive. Look, green in the daily, this nine-period moving average. And I want you to mention this before. So this is for those of you who are technical analysts and use the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence. I used to say, always look at the yellow line or whatever it is, the upper line, because that gives you the, if you close your eyes and you look at that and you close your eyes, and I, I will use this because some of the black char, black, black background charts we see are very difficult to, to, I love the black because you can use all these different colors and they mean something very important. Close your eyes and you'll see that that yellow line is essentially framing Normally, it frames the price movement. But look what's happened. The MACD has been very sluggish. It's not even close to the high. And yet, the price has gone up. Look at the stochastic. It's flat and making lower highs and lower lows. Look at the on-balance volume, that green line. It's up at the top. Well, look how easy it is. Green keeps you in. Look at the SMHs. Green and I'm embarrassed. It was such an easy thing. Even every day when I was saying eh, it could be a pullback, and there were pullbacks, but so minor. I should have said, hold it. Don't fold it. It's green. But the thing is, when it gets this high, to wait for that green line, which is the nine-period moving average positive, to go pink, like just for that one brief day, or all the way through right here when it was pink back in uh, 2020. Uh, three in November, October, November. That means it has to probably come down to 210. This is the, um, where it was, just a week and a half ago, even, yeah. Um, but you have to wait to, for it to get probably down here for that to change to, to pink. And it's a whole process because the green has to still turn down and then come down slowly. The MACD has to start pulling back to get negative. So, Yes, it was an easy trade, and I didn't do it. And to my subscribers, I apologize. That was one that I just, it's all there, even today. Technically, you should be able to buy it right here and just wait for a turn down. But, of course, that means you're buying it at 240 uh, and 236 right now. So I, I wouldn't be doing that. But that's the technique. Okay, I wanted to show it because it's so now, let me show you something else. Look, here's the TLT. TLT flipped to positive, right? The stochastic's flat at 89%, uh, and the uh, on-balance volume is pulled back, but it's green. So that means that for the yields to go higher, and it's certainly we've got a week coming up that says, mm, maybe that's what's going to happen, that the uh, Fed speak, or whatever it is, the economic uh, situation shows you that there's uh, buying activity and therefore, 
you, 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 the market pulls back. But that's what you have to wait for right now. So I want to go sh through this. I had a, another question. So just going back to the Costco, let me show you something interesting. So Costco and Walmart are in the same category, but they're very different, right? So Walmart trading right now are down 0.46 at 59.91. I hit an all-time high to yesterday of... Um, Oh my God! It had a round number open of sixty-one, so it's it's filtering, um, um, it's filtering into areas of that we've never seen before. And how often do you get round numbers in any stocks, let alone a uh, round number? Actually, so and here it is underneath it at fifty-nine ninety-one. All I'm saying is I believe it's going to mean something, and it'll be a process. It isn't a one-day thing. I'm watching this very closely. All right, I'll be back for the final segment. Well, we've got a lot of things to do. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So if you just finished that thought, so Costco and Walmart are still in the right sector for 2024. They should make higher highs. Digestive phase going on right now. Question came in right now. I just saw it, and I'm starting to get used to my new service. So I do see these things. Stanley back in Decker for uh, uh, for Michael. Yes, he just started a position. It's in leg C. Uh, it's really a sideways move, and the monthly chart really is not that positive. But if you've got that, and you're looking intermediate term, let's just say that for the intermediate term, I don't know what you want to do if it, if at 93 right now, round number actually. 93, if it closes under 80, I'd say under 88 in the next week, we've got to relook at that. Intermediate term, what you really want to see is to see SWK, Stanley Black and Decker, trading in 93.00. Um, you want to see it up in the 90, 96.30 area. Give it about two weeks, and that'll say, great, that's intermediate check. So I'm anticipating that with this nine period moving average still strong in the E uh, in the E mini, that you're going, to, you're going to get your leg D and then you've got to be careful to see what happens. The green line is still very positive and we'll see what happens 